Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from stampinwithmarcy.com and I would like to thank you for pressing play on today's video. Today's video is part of the Creating Kindness blog and video hop. This month we are focusing on support and friendship. The card that I'm going to be creating with you today is one I created to celebrate a family member's accomplishment. I'm using the adorable Color Me Happy stamp set that was released with the Stampin' Blends markers that are now available in my online store. They have um, 12 exclusive Stampin' Up! colors in, um, they are the alcohol-based markers, so uh, if you like to color, you absolutely need these in your stamping stash. I'm also using this little, um, I'm not sure what you call it, the little burst there to uh, highlight the uh, celebrate sentiment to make it really pop. Um, and I'm using the Color Theory um, Designer Series paper stack that is available in uh, six by six. Uh, and my uh, card stock is my Thick Whisper White that I always like to use for my bases. And then I'm using Crushed Curry uh, cardstock and crushed curry baker's twine and some iridescent ice sequins. So let's get started. Let me just get this stuff out of the way. Okay, so all of the measurements will be found on my blog. Just going to burnish. Okay, so when I am stamping and I am putting a piece of DSP across the bottom of my card front, I like to use an entire piece of cardstock so that um, it's easier to line up the pieces. So when you are using the new alcohol-based markers, you need to use the Memento ink so that your colors don't um, smudge and bleed. So by placing the DSP across the bottom, I can tell exactly how high up I need to go to stamp my image so that way it gives me a bit of a um, idea as how high I can actually go with that. Okay, and close that up and get that out of the way. And then because my little, I don't know what to call them, is a photopolymer. You need to put your stamp and pierce mat underneath it, the foam, so that way you um, have some cushion so you're going to get a better um, stamped image. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my light Daffodil Delight and I'm going to color in my entire bird. It comes with, there's two tips. There's the um, long fine and then the more blunt. And you'll hear the click. You really need to make sure that you um, hear that so that you know that your marker is completely closed because it is alcohol based it will evaporate you wouldn't want to put them away think you have the lid on and then come back to use them the next time and it be dry because the lid was not on secure and there's a lot of different ways to color there is no right way or wrong way. Um, 
I did not take any coloring courses or anything like that. I just color the way I want to color. So I've colored the entire bird in with the light and then I'm going to take my um, light crumb cake and I'm going to just go over a few areas to give it a little bit more depth across his belly here. I'm just doing teeny tiny little circles as I'm following along the line of his belly or her belly, whatever. And a little bit on the top. And then I'm going to come in with my dark and I'm going to follow along as well on there. Birds are not one solid color. So I like to add a little bit here and there, different shades to really break up that solidness. Okay, and then I'm going to take my light again and I'm going to go over the entire thing to help blend those colors together. Now you cannot set this aside and come back to it later to blend as it will be dry. So you really need to do any of the work you want to get done with it right off the get-go. You'll be happier with the results. I am using a very, very light touch as I'm going along here. And I'm turning my work as well. And you do not want to go too, too close to the line. You just fairly close, but not right up to it. Because it is alcohol based, it will expand and bleed a bit. And then as it dries, the color will change a bit as well. Okay, so for the beak, I'm pulling out my pumpkin pie and I'm using the long fine, fine tip and I'm just ever so gently coloring in that little beak. Now, I found with the little feet, they're so tiny, I found that I couldn't get the even the fine tip to um, color that in without bleeding through. So what I did on my card is I just took my pumpkin pie watercolor pencil and made sure it was sharp and then colored in the little feet so that way it's not uh, bleeding through. Now you'll notice on my card here that I've got it so that it's there's a bit of a shadow so that the bird is not floating along. So what I did for that is I took my light pool party and I just went along a little scribbly and then in here And then just gently traced along the outside of my bird. And 
and then I took my color lifter and this is like a blender as well so if you've gone outside the lines and you want to clean that up you use this or if you want to lighten up your color you use this being careful not to go over the bird itself I'm just wanting to lighten up and blend out that light pool party and you always want to use the side of the marker not down at the top because you will crush the tip and then you won't get be able to get in those fine detail places either and that's not good. Okay, and that will dry. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble my card. A little bit of my Tombow. I really like the color of this uh, crushed curry, the crackle paint chip look. And I decided since I was doing a celebrate card that my my bird had to be yellow because to me yellow is a happy color. You can see through it why they say to use the thick whisper white because it does bleed through the back. So if you were to use your regular Whisper White cardstock. You may not be happy with the color showing through the back if that was the only, if you weren't layering it up. Okay, and then my Crushed Curry Baker's Twine. fumble fingers today. I never have a problem tying bows unless it's on camera. Once it's on camera, it's like, my goodness, I forget how to tie. Okay. Remember, this is part of the Creating Kindness design team blog and video hop. So please click below on the other design team members' links to continue on with the hop to see what the other uh, design team members have created for this month's hop. We really do appreciate it. Give our uh, videos a like. Stop by our blogs and read our complete posts. I also find when you're putting on things like sequins, 
it's best to put your glue on the spot you want it on your card front and then pick up your sequins and put them on top of the glue rather than trying to get that tiny little sequin picked up when you've got glue all over it. And there you have it. There is the card today, and here is my original. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And uh, pop on over to my blog, www.stampinwithmarcy.com, to uh, read all of the details on today's card and to shop in my online store for any of the uh, products that um, I have used today. I really do appreciate all the support you give me and my business. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.